let's begin. So we do have the King of Cups and the Page of Swords, Communication of Love, an offer, being smart about the love connection, a water sign coming your way, this can be you being emotional, and in the same time brainy about a situation, Page of Swords and the Hermit, Virgo energy, but this is breaking the silence, somebody wants to finally start talking to you been a while right the hermit is a long energy of awakening the hermit and the king of cups again that's when we know we are done shuffling right when the energy is repeated itself um pisces cancer scorpio might be a water sign that wants to talk to you after a long period of awakening and silence and ghosting oh yeah they have an offer they have an offer ace of pentacles of new beginnings and you've been so patient about might be a cancer and they are rushing in with a, with an offer whatever you waited for it's coming that's energy that's your overall energy whatever you feel you deserve and you want it and you had to fight for it and you had to be patient and wait for the divine timing and the harvest time guess what it is coming so aries past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, Triumph. The Chariot is Triumph, the Six of Wands is Triumph, and you have again the Communication card, Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows. Um, strength might be a Leo, Ace of Wands, oh my god, such beautiful energies. Okay, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, definitely new beginnings here. But let's see, in the past, you and this person, Page of Wands and the Star card, Aquarius Energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is chemistry, uh, chemistry, passion, sensuality, desire, playfulness combined with divine timing. It's kind of like the universe gave the okay and it came, the okay came with a lot of passion and desire and... Um, you know, kind of um, um, clothing being the most unuseful thing, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. But you know my, uh, you know, you get my point, right? Might have been an Aquarius who you've been passionate about. Uh, might have been a, a fire sign like yourself. Uh, but boy, the universe worked in your favor. And I'm sure it felt good. It felt there is this energy of uh, youthfulness and carefree kind of passion. And yet it was divinely guided, right? It happened for a reason. Um, here is this person of yours. They came to the table with a real offer of love, Ace of Cups. They really meant it. They really uh, did have emotions for you a lot. And also a lot of thinking, right? That's a Four of Swords. Planning, strategizing, thinking, organizing stuff in order to offer you this cup of love, in order to have this new beginning with you. Um... It's um, and it's interesting because you have a combination of divine and passion. They have a combination of emotions and planning, right? The mind and the heart. So, I would say I, I don't see conflicted. It, that it has nothing conflicted, but it's kind of a meeting of um, human desires with the divine intervention. This is how it feels. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, are you kidding me? Look at the tremendous amount of love. King of Cups with his Queen. Um, I mean, useless to say. Soulmate, connection, a strong bond, a world of emotions, a world of sensuality, a world of, um, you know, being kind to each other and loving and um, coming from a place of tremendous care for each other. Uh, we know King of um, King of Cups. I mean, he's um, um, you know a doctor, a nurse. Um, you know, people working for people, taking care of people. So my, maybe this is what I'm picking up here. Uh, but let me tell you, a world of love and a world of divine intervention for you and this person to meet and have so much love and so much desire. 
what are we right now of course we got 13 the process 10 of swords and the page of pentacles Taurus Virgo the Capricorn I don't know I'm gonna see because 10 of swords uh, is the energy of sickness so maybe Aries somebody um, you know got sick you have a stress on your hands right now uh, 10 of swords is pain Ten of Swords is pain and this um, page of pentacles, you know, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm more inclined to say that I'm picking up the energy of an Aries who has um, health problems or the person you are dealing with. And uh, with the pentacles, this is a lot of caring, right? Pentacles is a lot of your time given to this person. Maybe you take care of them. Um, you know, that is uh, that is this energy of, uh, of pain out of um, out of nowhere out of nowhere so let's see this person oh they have your energy and the fool what happened there is what happened somebody uh, left you right somebody took you for a fool i don't know this is current energies so somebody might have um taken off right the fool is i want something new i'm out in a split second and um and then you show up here right you show up there is a sense of um of an abrupt energy it's like somebody might have made a move out of nowhere right and they've hurt you maybe that you, you know let's have a little bit of let's have a little bit of why is the ten of swords here let's see why why do we feel so betrayed right now nine of swords ten of swords clarified by nine of swords we are worried, we are in our head about this offer, about this person. Oh, the Empress. We might have two energies around us, Aries. We might have an Empress and, and can be an Emperor very well, somebody. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, something new and something we've um, grown um, um, used to, right? So that is, that is a sense of um, abundance, family and stability that might be a threat right now. Right. let's see this person we have them the full they may be a little bit foolish about because you show up here your energy is all over theirs but they show up with the full energy i've been a fool why fights and conflict okay let's see okay there was a fight okay there was a conflict and we are so stressed and the tower it is a hell of an energy here um aries um well first of all I know you feel betrayed. I know you feel that you might be losing your stability and abundance in whatever you've worked for. But this person is going through a transformation, a tower moment. This is the universe telling your person you are not at the right place at the right time and that is something you need to change. If not, I'm coming in. And this is why they are starting a new journey here. Um, they are starting a new journey. The, uni the universe is calling them into a new life of some sort into a new i mean the full is a completely new page of a new chapter um so aries mutual energies between the two of you the energy of the connection the hangman stagnation but boy we know what this is all about and the three of cups might have been a third party situation and you on your side you are kind of afraid of your stability and they might um, take off but they do have the energy of the tower and the full they have to take off they have to take off that is no choice here even if they are fighting this um that is the universe pointing them in a new direction here with the fire uh, under their booty you know that's the that's the tower right it's a booty energy of no no you you know you better move because the fire is coming um and it, that is an energy of catching fire um, three of Cups, right? Both of you longing for a reconciliation. Both of you longing for easy breezy energies. And yet, I'm stagnant at this point. And while you feel hurt and in your head, their world is in pieces, Aries. Their world is in pieces and you show up right in the middle of this disaster for them. Oh, moving forward, we love this. If you are patient, you'll get your justice. Libra energy, but you get the justice and the seven of pentacles. Results are given to those who know how to wait or something like that, right? And that there are a couple of other sayings, but justice, karma, balance, decisions is coming with the seven of pentacles. And Aries, you have it twice, baby. Twice the seven of pentacles. So we have to be patient. 
it's on, justice is on its way okay and that's it's just a matter of when that's a seven of pentacles and you have twice the energies of success six of wands with a chariot are you kidding me this is twice the energy of success at new beginnings stable new beginnings investments something about money stability whatever you are concerned about showing up in the empress energy right it is coming your way ten times um, tenfold now this person of yours they will walk away from betrayal I know they might have a shady energy right now with the seven of swords and the chariot but they will walk away from this they will move away from from disappointment they will move away from deception their own deception the deception towards you they want to come clean they want to charge towards you and mutual energy is king of pentacles four of cups they were not paying attention but they want stability you both want stability out of this um money settlement in some way but i'm sensing is more about roots and family it's about shifting an energy around because there has been a tower moment right so it comes with enlightenment here and for them it took a tower moment to realize your worth aries it took a tower moment to realize you know what i'm living behind shady energies and i'm moving straight to my um emperor right my aries can be the empress too and by the way that, that is a strong energy of soulmates right they have right now the empress you are the emperor they have your energy you have the empress energy on your side this was meant to be this meeting of them of the hearts of the minds we have the king of cups with the queen of cups we have the empress right now with the emperor this was meant to be this is part of your life path and um, there is no way we can escape this and they will keep coming back three of cups the reconciliation energy right and it took actually again uh, a tower moment for them to realize and this is cycles and this is a strong bond that we, we it will always keep coming right it will always keep coming to each other and um and you you will get your um you know with the justice you'll get your fair share whatever you felt betrayed about right now and stressed about your finances or the stability of this connection you will get it um, tenfold okay and the king of pentacles again taurus virgo or capricorn but it's more about stability this is building a stability right building slowly and so meant for each other the emperor the empress king of cups queen of cups so meant for each other but let's see the guidance at this point because of course we have energies of patience twice the seven of pentacles is energy of patience um a matter of one and the harvest and they are going through disruptions right now so aries yeah they are not with you but the universe is asking you to act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you will always consider them perfect let's have another one we do have love is all around you that is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth so act as if your partner is here and know that you are surrounded by love if you, even if you don't see them and we do have embrace your emotions allow your feelings to surface and be accepted let's have romance angels let's have three and see what this is what we are guided to do here let go of control issues yeah the universe is in charge aries the universe is in charge right act as if your partner is here and let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally we have love is all around you and make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so we don't control but we take steps whatever it's called for us and we have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together we need to manifest them and you have the energy of manifestation twice act as if your partner is here and calling in your soulmate 
Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. And let's see the energies coming your way or the energies that we need to get back into the flow. So we do have gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. So we need to bring um, gratitude back. Actually, this is happening for you and not against you. We have tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. So we need to bring tolerance back. We have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. We do have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So in this connection might have somebody might have messed up, made a mistake, but we need to be grateful. We need to, to accept, right? To be tolerant. And that is a purpose in it. We do have purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So purpose, you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Aries, okay. Um, such a beautiful reading. It was just a bump in the road. You are meant um, for each other, Aries. You don't have to worry a bit, baby. So, hey, this is all that I have for you. I want you to stay safe and strong and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.